Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to take an example. So, let's see the first example, which is 5a. We have a contact C1 and coils Q1, Q2, Q3. So, we have three coils. When we modify true to the contact first, which is C1, coil Let's say all of the coils will go through. After modifying the same contact to false, which is C1, only coil Q1 and Q2 will go false and the coil which is Q3 will remain true. Now let's get started with the OpenPLC editor here as I have already made the folder here which is example 5 and after that I already created a project now I will start with the rungs here let's start with the power rails first as I created two power rails one on the left side and one on the right side let's start with the variables first of all I will create C1 and type of the C1 will be boolean then after I will create three coils which is Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now we have four variables here one is the contact C1 and another three are the coils. Now I will start with the ladder diagram here. First of all, I am going to need a contact which is C1 and I am going to need three coils. So I created the three coils here and to do this question we are going to need a memory bit here i already created a memory bit m0 and type of the memory bit is boolean we will start with the letter diagram here i will adjust its block size then after I will join these pins and I will create or I will make a push button here. I will let the output M0 and thereafter I will join these pins. Then I will keep the coils in parallel and I will join the coils with the power rail and on the left side I will use the memory bit as a normally open contact. Now I created a normally open contact M0 and three coils and I then join the pins now to do this question we are going to need the normally open contact c1 then i will keep them in parallel with the coil q1 and q2 thereafter i will join these pins here and now the pins are connected i will start the simulation the simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. Now you can see the ladder diagram. I will show you the coil Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now you can see the clearly Q1, Q2 and Q3. Let's force true to the normally open contact C1 and see what will happen. All of the coils 
which is q1 q2 and q3 immediately did go true when i modified c1 to true now when i modify c1 or force it to false only the coil q3 will remain true now this ends our example 5a now we will head on to the 5b example so in the example 5b we have a contact c1 c2 c3 and coil q1 q2 q3 when we modify the contact c1 to true q1 q2 and q3 will go true on modifying the second contact which is c2 to true coil q4 and q5 will go true after modifying the last contact to true coil q2 and q5 will go false now in this question we have three contact and we have five coils now i will add three contacts here and up to five coils first of all i will add these coils and contacts on to the ladder diagram here so i created the three contacts and five coils here after that the question says that when i modify c1 to true q1 q2 and q3 should go true now i will join these pins and i will keep the coil q1 q2 and q3 in parallel and i will join these three coils with the contact c1 here question says that when i modify the c2 normally open contact to true the coil q4 and q5 will go true so i will attach 4 and 5 in parallel and i will join these pins with the c2 contact here now the last one is when i modify c3 to true coil q2 and q5 will go false which means that i have to add c3 contact and i have to modify it as normally closed contact then i will add the c2 sorry the c3 contact in series with coil q2 and same goes with the q5 then i will join these pins here now i will start the simulation the simulation is complete i will click on the debug thereafter i will clear these coils here i will show you the five coils on the right side now let me force through to the c1 contact here as you can see the q1 q2 and q3 coils are true now when i modify the c2 contact to true coil q4 and q5 will go true and with this when i modify the c3 contact to true only q2 and q5 will go false this ends our video here thank you for watching